The Phoenix Police Department is in the business of fighting crime, but lately they've been dealing with a finance fight as the city of Phoenix calls for millions in cuts. As Marissa Wingate reports, that could mean job cuts and demotions for many officers, Marissa. Yeah, Bev, the cuts won't be based on performance. They'll be based on seniority. But the police department's list won't come out until tomorrow. That means a number of people across the city will likely spend the night very worried. John Howard is a Phoenix police sergeant and a supervisor, but soon the 15-year veteran could be back patrolling these streets, demoted back to an officer, bringing home thousands less in pay. It's like at work. Uh, we're all stressed about it. Howard is just one of hundreds of officers waiting to see if they'll get a letter Thursday informing them they're part of the 15% the city will likely demote, move around, or lay off. So almost every squad out here uh, is going to lose at least some people. You can't not think about the fact that you might not have a job in a couple of months. Three-year civilian police employee Sarah Brown thinks she won't have a job. I'm expecting my first child, so if I do lose my job and they can't find a place for me in the city, when I'm done, I'll be five months pregnant and going out there trying to find a job. And officers say the cuts will definitely make it harder for citizens to try to find an officer. Just means they're just not going to see the officers that they've become accustomed to. They're just hoping fewer police officers on the streets doesn't mean fewer bad guys behind bars. The fewer officers we have, just doing the math, they're not going to be there to support uh, each other and the community as much as we wish we could. The cuts could be less than 15 percent, but the department is preparing for the worst, and the officers are waiting for tomorrow. I'm still going to have a job. It's going to affect me and my family at home, but the, I'm more concerned about the guys that are going to be out of a job altogether. The city will hold community meetings in February. That's to hear from the public. Then the city council will vote on the cuts in March. They'll take effect in April. We'll have more on the story coming up at 5:30. I'm Marissa Wingate, 3TV. Thanks a lot, Marissa.